Max, welcome to Bristol Rovers. You must be delighted to get everything signed and refocus now on the new campaign. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I'm really excited to sign for Bristol Rovers and it's a, it's a club I've always enjoyed coming to, playing games, obviously being the away team, but um, now I'm, I'm ecstatic that I'm here on a permanent basis and looking forward to getting started. Yeah. What was the main draw for you signing for, for Bristol Rovers? Uh, obviously the whole fan base, the way the, the sort of the club's going, speaking to the gaffer, the young coach, looking to play the right way, stuff like that. So just the whole direction of the club and it's something that really excites me. You joined from Gillingham. Tell us a little bit about your time, time with them. Yeah, I love my time at Gillingham. Um, obviously being captain last year, been there for five and a half years, whatever it's been. Um, Played a lot of games, yeah, really thankful to the chairman, the gaffers that I've had there over the years and just love my time there with all the fans. Obviously, as you mentioned, you're made captain there. What qualities do you think you had that made you a fit for that role? Uh, just, I think, experience and obviously being a centre-back obviously helps. Um, but I've sort of grown into that role more now, I think. Um, something I've, I've got a couple of years ago, I didn't really want it, um, just because I didn't feel it was sort of right stage in my career. And then I got it last season and I felt, I felt like I, I wouldn't say deserved it, but I felt like it was something that I could handle and I've hopefully done alright with it. You played almost every minute of the last campaign, playing week in, week out, so you know the, the hustles and toils that goes with life in League One, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I've played, I don't know how many games it is, but around 300 uh, League One games, so yeah, it's, I certainly would like to think that I know my way around League One. Um, I'm just excited to get started here, really, and I hopefully have a good ca campaign. 15 goals, that's not a bad return, is it? Yeah, I think the majority of them come in one season now. Um, yeah, something I've been probably getting up on last year, I think I only got one. Um, but something that I'm constantly looking to do, but obviously first and foremost I'm looking to keep clean sheets. You touched on it before, the, the passion of the Rovers fan base. How much are you looking forward to playing in front of them? Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I've played here four or five times and every time it's just so loud, the fans are just so loud and yeah, really excited. Um, can't wait to get started. For people who haven't perhaps seen you in action, what are your main strengths as, as a player? Um, I like to get the ball down and play as much as I can, but I think I'm there to defend and keep clean sheets, so that's what I sort of base myself on. Um, defend first and then get the ball down and play and just help others around me really. I think being a centre-back you can see the whole pitch and stuff, so I like to lead by example if that's possible. Yeah. There's a good sense of positivity around the club, a lot of players agree new deals, a lot of new yeah. players arriving, the new training ground being constructed. It must be a great time to be joining when there's such a good feel around the place. Definitely, yeah. I think that was obviously one of the main factors of me coming in, the new training ground, the, the gap fire, the, the whole setup of the club, the fans, etc. So it's something that, as soon as I heard about it, it was something that I was really excited to do and get done. After months now where we've been waiting on the return of League One football, you've been itching now to get back and kind of get back into the battle of that, yeah. start that League One action? Definitely, yeah. I think seeing at home too long is driving me a bit mad. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get started. Um, Start getting some training done, getting some games under the belt, and then ready for the new season. Yeah. And this is part of the world that you know perhaps a little bit about having a loan start at Yeovil before. Yeah. How much is that challenge of you know moving to a new place and experience a whole different city? Is that something that excites you? Yeah, it's something that excites me more than sort of scares me. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I used to come here like on a regular basis when I was at Yeovil, uh, just whether shopping or whatever, um, and I loved it. So. It's another sort of no-brainer for me to sign here and just can't wait. Yeah, and looking now ahead to the new season, we're not quite sure when it'll start, but have you got any kind of goals or targets you set yourself personally you'd like to achieve during your time with Rovers? Um, I always set myself goals every season, whether that be sort of a clean sheet, sort of a minimum clean sheet amount or goals or just certain little things. I'm not going to reveal my secrets, but um, I always set myself probably, it's probably about six to eight targets every year. And last season I got close to all, all eight. Um, Hopefully I can do that again this year.